The cause of death for mom of two, Stephanie Smith, who died on the way home from the Dominican Republic, has been revealed as a carotid artery dissection. Stephanie was a healthy 41-year-old female, and she made headlines last month after this incident. So let's talk about what a carotid artery dissection is. The carotid artery is one of the main arteries that go to the brain to supply our brain with blood. And a dissection of the carotid artery could be a potentially life-threatening condition. I have my colleague, Dr. Anu Wisenhunt, who is a vascular surgeon who's going to help us explain what it is. Causes of carotid artery dissection can be elevated blood pressure, meaning your blood pressure spikes suddenly. There are folks that can have spontaneous dissection because they have a genetic disease such as Ehlers-Danlos or Marfan's where their blood vessels are prone to injury. These are, again, rare conditions. A seatbelt injury in a car crash to your neck. Carotid artery dissections do not usually cause a fatality. Stephanie's case, unfortunately, my thoughts are that she, this dissection led to a complete occlusion of the carotid artery, so therefore no blood supply to the brain. Arteries in our body have three layers like an onion, so if you have weakness in one of the layers, it can potentially cause a dissection. If a patient has a spike in their blood pressure, the intimal lining or the innermost layer of the vessel can begin to lift off and potentially dissect. Here are a couple of pictures explaining how a dissection may happen. If a patient has a spike in their blood pressure, it can begin to lift off the innermost layer of the wall. In this picture, you can see if the layer begins to lift, there can be clots that form on that abnormal lining, and those clots can then break off and go to the brain and cause a stroke. In Stephanie's case, what may have happened is she could have had a complete mural hematoma, which caused a complete carotid artery occlusion, which would obstruct the flow of fluid to the brain altogether. Per media reports, her flight was diverted to Turks and Caicos, where she later died at a hospital. I want to point out that these are extremely rare conditions, and they rarely cause death. And in Stephanie's case, most likely it was associated with a spontaneous hematoma, meaning she had no known risk factors for this to develop. My thoughts and prayers go out to Stephanie, her friends, and her family during this difficult time.